Hello and welcome to the Half-Ass Homestead. It's spring here on the homestead, Wisconsin spring. And that means Mother Nature can't decide what she's doing. 71 day, snow and 30 the next. So I might look ridiculous, but I need to hold the rug down before Willie goes out or he'll send it flying back about 10 feet. There's one thing we like to do on the half ass homestead, it's feed the birds. And with the roller coaster of a spring we've been having and the migratory birds coming back a little earlier than normal, it's probably a little bit more important to get some food out for them this year. Speaking of birds, we should probably care for the ones that feed us. Um, we're also in charge of feeding them, so by default. Here's the daily exceptionally beautiful clutch of eggs. In true half-assed homestead form, this place would not be complete without a rusty, non-running piece of equipment. This is Andy's new to him seized up case crawler. Um, so this is his new project. 2,000 pound injectors, but like the trucks are like 30 or 40,000 pound. They still have glow plugs. The new ones have glow plugs. This is, um, yeah, you just gotta use the ether if you want to start it. Crawler's engine's not actually seized. He's adding more lubricant. This, the non-turning portion was actually the starter being stuck. However, there is water damage to the engine. So we're not out of the woods yet on this project. While Andy messes around with the crawler, the tiny human is going to make some cattle dogs chase a stick. Mostly Willie. He likes it, so it's okay. Leg pipped. This egg is pipped, and that other Moran's egg is pipped. So, we have six pipped now. It's the next morning. I've already been up here once to check on them, but we have two that have run their zip line, so I'm checking out again, and I'm going to bring it with me. Oh look, baby Beverly hatched. So that is a Splash Moran's mix. Oh, the green one's still in there. Alright, I'm getting ready to get out of here. I gotta go to work. So I'm checking these guys one more time, because I think there might be one more chick. They're not hatched yet. Little green egg hatched. There's the fourth one. All right, guys, I'm going to work. Well, there's a chick or two in there after work. So I'm going to get these guys out and start getting them feeding and watering. It's been 24 hours since the first chick hatched. So at this point, I'm going to start taking care of the ones that have. This might look a little rough. I promise this is gentle. All I'm doing with these chicks is dipping their beaks in water. Um, it helps get them drinking better and like mom would do I am pecking at the food giving them the idea of what they should be eating. So I like to do this with every chick um, at least for a little while every day for the first two days and make sure they're getting good food and water and understanding that stuff properly. Yet another chick. Happy birthday, little guy. For those of you who are wondering, 
The results of our first dry hatch, when everything was said and done, we hatched out 17 happy, healthy chicks. At least running this week on a good note. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And if you could hit that like button and maybe the subscribe and help the channel grow a little bit, I'd be ever so thankful. I'll see you guys in the next one.